Rumor has it that a cleaning crew was giving a fuel tanker a high temperature wash when it suddenly started pouring rain. The workers sealed the tanker while it was still scorching hot and left it outside in the downpour. Because of the massive temperature difference, steam built up inside the tanker, and with the added pressure from the cool rain outside, the whole thing supposedly imploded and collapsed inward. To test whether this rumor was real, the Mythbusters team spent a fortune on a fuel tanker, one big enough to hold 110,000 liters of liquid. They then rolled out a massive steam cleaning machine and started blasting the tanker from every angle. Under the intense heat, the surface temperature quickly shot up to 230 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it was hot enough, they sealed the valves and created artificial rainfall, spraying down the tanker while it was completely closed off. Everything went exactly as planned. Steam kept building inside, the internal pressure kept dropping, and the tanker was practically on the verge of a vacuum. But even after an hour, nothing happened. No implosion at all. Jamie suspected the tanker was simply too new and too strong, so they bought a second one, this time a used tanker, and removed the air inside to simulate the previous conditions. But reality can be harsh. This worn-out tanker still refused to implode. That's when Adam decided to give it a little encouragement. He used a crane to suspend a giant boulder over the tanker and dropped it to mimic an accidental impact. The tanker dented instantly. Then they repeated the entire process again. And this time, when the tanker was once again near vacuum conditions, the massive pressure difference finally did its job. The tough steel shell crumpled like it was being squeezed by the hand of a god and the dent caused by the boulder triggered a butterfly effect collapse. The scene was absolutely spectacular. So under normal conditions, fuel tankers are very safe. But if they're old, poorly maintained, or already damaged, the risk of implosion becomes much higher. This experiment was extremely dangerous. Do not try anything like this yourself.